So another instruction video. This one is a, pretty much like a cable tie. It's tight and you can still open it under tension, which is quite funny. I can show this maybe a little bit so it's under tension. And I can still release it by just pushing the knot. So it's very useful for closing packages like coffee or porridge or <clears throat> any kind of old packages or flower packages or tying isolation mattresses together or it's it's a very multi-use knot that I have a lot in my daily life. Um, I will soon show you how to make this knot and this knot is called the Blake knot. Uh, so it holds under tension but when I move it I can move it and you can just lock it and it stays closed. There's a little stopper knot on this end and here is a little loop so you can hang the packages. And I'm now going to open this and then show you how to tie it. So I have opened the knot. I left the loop inside here. This is just a bowline. And I left the stopper knot also inside. The barrel knot can also be used in tree climbing, climbing on ropes. And I show you how it's tied. I do this quite slowly and big with a long end. So first you see I have put my thumb here as a space holder, so maybe take a bigger size, and then I'm wrapping this loose end around this standing part here and my thumb. And depending on the rope that you use and the diameters, you might want to have three wraps here or two wraps. I'm going with two, three wraps now, then after those three wraps with my thumb as a spacer, I make two more wraps here. And then after this, I will feed the end around here and under. I can, I hope that you can see it. So I took my thumb out and I'm going around here and through here. So animated knots is another good source for learning knots. <laughs> another uh, another good one like this is not a really a good one <laughs> animatednots.org really good one good source so you see you have the three wrappings and then the two wrappings and you see this part here is going through here so i'm just moving the loose out of the knot tightening everything and pulling it tight so what you can do instead of the stopper knot is to you can if it's a permanent installation you can cut it off here and burn it down and attach it burn it to the wrappings so here you have the blake knot and you can tighten it and then it stays closed and you can open it under tension which is actually really nice. I should make a video about using this um, knot for climbing up a rope because you can climb up a rope and then descend on it. So you can see if this were a rope, you can climb up on it, sit down, hang in, use a footlock technique here, push it up again, sit down again if this is attached to your harness, and then you can descend the rope by just moving the knot Works really nice. Okay, that was about the Blake knot. And this video was a wish by a viewer. Greetings. And so, please, if you have more wishes for useful stuff or thoughts or so, please post them. And as always, like and subscribe. Um, and have a look at the other videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.